Long live your turtle here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did a tile substrate for my 125 gallon tank, as well as escaping technique that's turtle proof. And it's super simple and only requires a glue gun. Let's get to it. All right, first thing you want to pick up is a box of ceramic tiles. The special thing with these tiles is they are 16 by 16 because I only want to use four and a half tiles for this project. Uh, if you want to cut up more tiles, you can definitely do that. You'll be able to pick from a lot of different styles here because using the 16 by 16 in a hardware store, not many colors to choose from. I do like this color because it's kind of just really natural, almost sand color stone. So it's gonna look good in the bottom of the tank. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do here with the bottom of your ceramic tile, I'm gonna add little beads of hot glue and I'm gonna press them down a little bit as you can see I'm doing with this paper. It's not glorious, but it just makes it a little flatter. But what these do is they basically create little pads under your tile because if you've ever put a stone or any sort of tile on glass, It'll make the most horrific noise and it could scratch and damage your tank. And you know turtles and they're going to be rummaging around, pushing it around. This also adds a little grip to the bottom of the tile so they're not going to be easily pushed around by your turtle. So I just did a bunch of these kind of around the bottom of the tile. Nothing specific. Obviously the four corners in the center I did a big glob but just a couple other ones elsewhere. So once you do that with all of your tiles, uh, what I'm doing is just laying them down to show you how they're going to go in the tank. Again, I said these are 16 by 16, and this is a 125 gallon tank I'm installing in, which if you do the math, we're seven inches short lengthwise and one inch short widthwise. Um, and we'll deal with that a little later. What I'm showing you here is I actually picked up a really great fake driftwood for 50% off at Petco, and I love this. And I'm just, you know, laying things out where I want them on the tile because we're going to be doing some permanent scaping soon. I'm not going to do it with the driftwood because it's heavy enough for the turtles, but we are going to be doing some permanent scaping. So I just want to make sure that I get everything aligned where I want it to be. All right. Next step is to grab some, what I have is beach pebbles, but what we want are large round river stones or just stones that are smooth and quite large because you don't want your turtle to be able to eat these or just easily knock them and push them around. So I'm rinsing them off. They're coming from a garden section of my hardware store. So they, people that put these rocks together, they didn't care about how dirty they were, nor if they were going in an aquarium with turtles. So give them a good rinse, get them clean. Next scaping prop are a bunch of fake plants. Now I got these plants specifically because they had a little weight on the bottom and they're all just one piece otherwise. It's not those ones that are a bunch of little pieces connected to each other because those are going to be ripped to pieces by your turtle. You want one long grass strand as you can see and that they all stick into a hole or a couple holes in that little weighted base there. And you can see I'm taking my glue gun and I'm just squirting a bunch of glue around the base and the reason I'm doing that is because they're not really that secure in there. They have like one little bead of glue that's holding the uh, stalk of the grass into the base. So you want to add a little bit more because you know turtles, if you own one, they're going to grab at this and they're going to run with it in their mouth. And you don't want them to be able to yank this just right out of the base here. So add a bunch of glue, be liberal about it, and you'll appreciate it when we're done. I also got this giant plant that actually looks really nice, obviously from the same place. If you want to see what products I'm using here, head to the description of the video and I'll have links to everything I'm using here. So if you want to use the same stuff or you want to get references to where to start, that is a great place to go. Check out the links in the description. All right, with your beach pebbles cleaned and your plants cleaned and glued to their bases, what we're gonna do now is just create a dry version of our escape. And this is gonna be really helpful because what we're gonna be doing is using adhesive to adhere our plants and our stones to the tiles themselves. And we're gonna to get to that in a second, but it's really important that you set this up beforehand because you don't wanna be scrambling with glue all over the place and getting it wrong because once it's on there it's on there it's going to be permanent and really hard to remove and redo if you don't like the end result i'm going for a classic scape keeping the middle pretty open which is also great for an above tank basking area where when they jump off of that they fly into the center of the tank you don't want to put anything there that they're going to hit 
And it also shows them off in the middle of the tank where they like to come say hi, of course, because they're hungry always. Next thing you want to grab is a caulking gun and some 100% silicone. This is what we're going to use to adhere our plants and our stones to our tile. This is another case of being extremely liberal with the glue. So what you're going to do is put a big glob of your glue underneath your stones, and you're going to also put it between the stones, and you're going to try to wedge in the base of the plants between your stones as well, and then you're going to spray glue all over that. So you're basically trapping your plants between rocks, and then you're gluing all your rocks to the tile and between each rock, and then also obviously gluing underneath the plant as well. And this will just really cement in with silicone your escaping rocks and plants to your tile. And the adhesion here is incredible, and you'll be really impressed when this comes out how hard it is to actually move your rocks and your plants. And your turtles are going to have an extremely frustrating time trying to move them and rescape all of this lovely work for you. Kind of like a wheel boot on your car. All right, I'm showing you how liberal I was with this adhesive, and it doesn't look pretty, but once it's in your tank, you really won't notice, and especially once your tank is established, it'll get a little dirty and you'll be gone. What I'm showing now is 48 hours later, which is the time it takes for silicone to fully cure, at least this GE product I'm using, which you wanna make sure it cures so there's no chemicals leaching out into your water. So I mentioned earlier on that I have a 125 gallon tank that's 71 inches long on the inside of the glass. Now I'm only using so far four 16 inch tiles. That only brings us up to 64 inches. So we're missing seven inches to complete the length of the tank. So what I have to do is I have to cut one of the tiles in order to make up the difference that we're gonna miss unless I really wanna have this big gap in the tank, which I'm gonna be honest, I tried that and it didn't work at all. So I suggest getting ready to cut a tile because it's gonna look a lot better this way. Now you can see I've been measuring for about 20 minutes here just so I could talk about it, you know, because I wanna be a good guy and give you all the advice. I do know how to measure maybe. So I measured about a six inch piece just so I would have a little room to play inside the tank. Now my next tip is in order to cut the tile, what you're gonna to wanna to do is either own a tile cutter or know a friend that owns one because going out and buying one of these to cut a single piece of tile is definitely not the best use of your money. Um, so they're super simple devices. They're basically just a table saw, but for tiles and you just wanna have a little water spraying on them, at least for the version I'm using. And you just push the tile along the line you made and go slow, but it's super straightforward and obviously Safety applies here, wear some gloves, wear some eyeglasses, wear some hearing protection, and cut through your tile. If you went with a smaller tile and you're doing a bunch of tiles, it actually might be worth it to get a tile cutter cheap off Craigslist or something, because you'll have a lot more cutting to do to get smaller tiles to fill the bottom of your tank. All right, all my tiles are cut, and my pre-scaped tiles are ready to be installed in the tank. So. This is really basic, but really gently place your tiles in your tank. They are quite heavy now with those giant river stones. Um, and obviously you don't want to just throw these into a glass bottom tank because that's going to, you know, not lead to good things. Now I mentioned earlier, I tried to do this with just four tiles and kind of space them out because uh, I thought that might look nice. It didn't. So again, I suggest adding that little piece at the end to fully complete the bottom of your tank. And I'm showing that here. I actually add three little stones to make a consistent scaping, of course. But once those tiles are down, it's time to fill your tank up. See, maybe there's a spoiler here because there's a turtle already in it with water in the tank. But let's take a look at our tank completely set up with our new tile substrate. And here is the 125 gallon tank with Moses and Crackers, my two slider turtles, loving their new tile substrate fake plants, and river stones. Again, this is a turtle-proof scaping technique. Those stones and those plants are going nowhere, the tiles are not gonna budge, and it's super low maintenance, and people, turtles are very dirty, so having a low maintenance tank is an awesome plus for this type of design. It only took four and a half tiles, a bag of river stones, and a bunch of plants I got on Amazon, and it looks really natural for what we're seeing here, those tiles almost look like a sand, which I actually really like. But look at me here talking so much. 
You give your opinion. Hit up that comment section. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing. I have a bunch of other DIY videos on turtle type projects. And hit that like button if you like the video. If you are seeing the turtle basker I have on top of my tank, that's the Turtle Basker 4500. If you want one like it, it's an awesome product specifically made for basking turtles. Check it out in the description of this video. Head over to my Etsy store and grab one for yourself. Long live your turtle.